Bacterial blight is the most dangerous disease spread to most of the pomegranate gardens in India. It can bring crop loss up to 30 to 50 percent or even more. But the plant will not die due to this disease. Xanthomonas oxynopodes bacterium is a causal organism. Pathogen enters the plant system through wounds or cut ends and stomata but it never becomes systemic. Initially, black-brown spots appear on the leaves and stems. Later on, it spreads like a blotch on the stem like this. Severely affected twig may break. Star-shaped spot appears on the fruit, resulting in splitting. This fruit drops down or becomes unsellable. This bacterial blight is severe in the rainy season. Cloudy climate and frequent light showers spread this disease to the entire garden. This bacteria spread to new plantations through layer plants. Pathogen cannot survive in the soil for long, but it can live for six to eight months in affected plant parts like leaf, stem and fruit. Bacterium again attacks the next crop from these sources of inoculum. Pathogen spreads to the whole garden through rainwater splash, flooding water, pruning secatures, animals, workers and visiting insects. Select disease-free plants carefully for fresh planting. Tissue culture plants are the best for this purpose. Nourish the plant from the beginning with sufficient quantity of rich organic manures such as cow dung manure, vermicompost, neem cake, etc. It develops disease resistance in the plant. It is advised to use Pseudomonas fluorescens and Bacillus subtilis bioagents as well. Put correct doses of major and micronutrient fertilizers. Disinfect the cicatures used for pruning with 25 ml sodium hypochlorite in one liter of water. Allow the workers brought from other farms for pruning only after cleaning their secatures and clothing. Keep the garden clean. In a garden infected with bacterial blight, spray 1% Bodo mixture before pruning to bring down the pathogen load on the plants. Spray ethereal after pruning to shed all the leaves. Collect stems, fruits and leaves after pruning and destroy by burning outside the garden. Dust bleaching powder, 10 kgs per acre to kill pathogen in the soil. Put half a gram of streptocycline or half a gram of bromopal and three grams of COC in one liter of water and paint it on the stems. Spray the same solution three times in an interval of 10 days. If the bacterial blight is severe, keep on spraying the same solution once in 15 days. After each spray of this antibiotic, spray zinc sulfate, magnesium sulfate and boron one gram each in one liter of water to strengthen disease resistance of the plant. Do not go for rainy season crop Mrig Bahar in the gardens affected with bacterial blight. Due to clear sunshine, Hasta Bahar and Ambe Bahar crops escape serious damage by the bacteria. If all the farmers of the area take up all these control measures, it is possible to put a check on this bacterial blight disease. <laughs>